One of the things that has been happening um, whenever I go to drain the wort out, um, pour into my fermenter, is that the uh, valve seems to be getting clogged up with all the uh, hops that are in the boil. And since I'm going to be focusing on brewing really, really hoppy beers um, in the near future, I decided to um, take on a little do-it-yourself project, uh, make a hop bag. So I went out to uh, Home Depot and I picked up um, supplies to uh, make one really, really uh, inexpensive. Came out to about um, $13. Um, actually, it's more like $15, but I get a discount for uh, being a veteran. Um, but I ended up spending about $13 for um, all these. And basically all I'm gonna be using is, it's a five gallon uh, paint strainer bag. And the way that I'm gonna attach this is by getting one of these um, PVC joints. And the bag itself is gonna essentially go like this. Now, in order to hold this, what I've got is a couple of rods. And uh, basically the way these are gonna go is that they're each gonna be drilled um, into the PVC joint. And these rods themselves, they're gonna basically be used to hold above the kettle in here. So it's a simple, very simple project. And um, since I'm gonna be brewing, like I said, a lot of hoppy beers. Um, mm -hmm. Mostly everyone that makes a hop bag seems to be making it um, this way. It's a very simple uh, project to make. So I'll go ahead and walk you out through it. And then just stay tuned for some of the upcoming videos so I can review and let you know exactly what the uh, performance was. So you wanna start out by measuring out where you're gonna drill your holes. Now to do this, what I ended up doing is I attached the hose clamp all the way to the top of my joint. And then I used that as a guide to mark down where I'm gonna be drilling the holes. Now I'm doing mine with three rods. So I'm gonna basically mark down three holes equally spaced. Once I'm done marking down the holes, I'm gonna remove the hose clamp and I'm going to secure the uh, PVC joint to a little stool that I have just to uh, use some support. Now, once I have this secure, then I'm gonna start drilling out the hole. Once you're done drilling out the holes, make sure that the uh, rods fit before you take out the clamps. And, and then you can begin to attach everything. Now, the way you want to attach this is using a nut and a flat washer on the outside and using a lock wash and two nuts on the inside of the PVC joint. You're gonna attach all three rods the same way. I like to hand tighten first to make sure that the rod is not sticking in too much on the inside. And once I hand tighten, make sure that it all fits just fine. Then I go ahead and use a wrench and a socket to tighten it up. So once you have everything attached, then you can go ahead and start attaching your paint strainer bag. The way, it's, uh, the way I'm setting up mine is by inserting the paint strainer bag from the inside. You can do this from the outside as well. I'm just going to do it from the inside. So I bring it in and then I attach the hose clamp to secure it. And then I just tighten that up. And that is pretty much all you need to make a hop filter. One thing I wanted to make sure was that my kettle lid would fit without leaving much of a space. And it seems like I, and it seems like I was able to do that. Now also the uh, paint strainer bag is big enough that you shouldn't really see any loss on hop utilization. You should be able to see, uh, you should be able to get basically the same results as if you were to drop in the hops straight into the wort. So and that is pretty much all you'll need to do. Um, stay tuned for more videos and we'll see you guys next time.